Hi friend, how are you? Today my discussing topic is about fuse. Its word is very simple, but its importance is too much. So in our everyday life, in our home, factory, shops, in all places, this five words things has been connected for our protection. for the equipment protection and for the safety of the working personals so this is very important topic today i am just discussing about so let's start about the discussions what is fuse fuse is a short piece of metal inserted in the circuit where is has been inserted inserted in the circuit which to be protected and which melts when the excessive current flow and break the circuit and it's protect the valuable equipment from damage so it's a simple procedures without without any external forces it's only break the circuit by the help of the thermal effect when the excessive current will flow when the excessive current will be flow if any fault will be there if any short circuit will be there if anything touching of the foreign material with the particular flowing conductors then the breaking current will be generated and that is called the excessive current when that amount of excessive current will flow that depends on the current carrying capacities of the metal part that has been used for the fuse purpose so this simple five words five letter words has been generated this is the fuse has been generated in the year of 1890 by mr edison so it should have the low melting point high conductivity least deterioration due to oxidations so low cost so these four characteristics or features should be there for proper use of the fuse so it has an inverse time current characteristics what is its means that is t proportional to 1 by i where t is the time and i is the current so here so the current is inversely proportional to the t and obviously t is also proportional to the current as per the vice versa rules so if the current is increasing the time will be decreasing as this is the inversely proportional with each other so in the case of the high current will be flow the time of melting or time of blowing and time of breaking of the circuit is too low so it is the very important protections of the circuit and personals for our home soft factory industries all the places we can use this type of fuses so it it should have a overcurrent protection also in that case overcurrent protection it also operate accordingly so it has a lot of advantages it is too much cheapest no maintenance is required its operation is automatic and it have a very important feature that is the overcurrent protection there has a lots of disadvantages the time lost because when the fuse blow out your line uh, um, if you want to regenerate or normalize your line you should have to replace the fuse material so it takes times to normalize the systems and the series really connected fuse blow due to the heavy short circuit if there is an heavy short circuit and if you connected the fuse series series circuit then all the fuse may be blow so that will be the very uh, hard and sold procedure to normalize the required and particular concerned lines so the materials has been used still now for the making of the fuse that is the first one is lead tin copper zinc and silver so now we let's uh, analysis of the fuse and what is the factors and the terms has been important 
to analysis the fuse the current rating of the fuse so what what does it means it means that what amount of current and load has been connected with your house industry factories shops accordingly you have to choose your fuse materials the fusing uh, current i equal to k d to the power 3 by 2 where i is the current d is the diameter and k is the fuse constant so fusing factor there is also a fusing factor minimum fusing current divided by the current rating of the fuse this is called the fusing factor prospective current it is uh, a so important current uh, that's why uh, it is important the cut off current cut off current pre arcing time arcing time total operating time braking capacity this picture is representing and discussing about this all the things so when a fault is occurred here the fault current will be increases fault current will be increases and up to the cut off current and when the cut off current will be reached then the current uh, will be decreasing in nature as like as this picture is representing and when the current is zero the arc is finished so the melting point has reached so this is the pre arcing time this point the arcing um, will be started so it is called the pre arcing time from a to this current zero point it is called the arcing time and this pre arcing time and arcing time is the total operating time and this is the cut off current where the melting melting or arcing will be started so here the fault fault current total uh, so this represented the this represent uh, this all the current is given here. so what is the prospective current we are discussing about the prospective current so prospective current is an rms value of the first loop of the fault current what is the first loop this is the first loop of the fault current so do you understand so it is the rms value of the first loop of the fault current obtained if the fuse is replaced by an ordinarily conductor of negligible resistance so let's discuss about the type of fuse the type of uh, fuse low voltage fuse we are using the low voltage fuse and also the high voltage fuse low voltage fuse has uh, the um, different type of low voltage fuse we have used the first one is the semi enclosed rewirable fuse second is the high uh, rupturing capacity hrc cartridge fuse hrc fuse with tripping devices etc and the high voltage fuse cartridge type fuse liquid type fuse and the metal clad type fuse has been used so let's discuss about the ordinary fuse law this is very important where i square r equal to the constant into the effective surface area so i square r equal to zeta l by a equal to constant effective surface area d into l diameter into length you will get the surface area so d equal to diameter of the fuse and l is the length of the fuse so by uh, analysis of the formula we are getting that i square equal to constant into d cube so by uh, help of that formula is i square proportional to d to the power 3 so this is the ordinary fuse law lots uh, lots of my subscribers are asking in my comment section what is the difference between fuse and circuit breaker so let's discuss today about what is the difference between fuse and circuit breaker in the uh, particular uh, function related uh, matters uh, fuse its perform both directions and interruption function and circuit breaker its perform interruption function only the detection of fault is made by the relay systems in case of the operation in case of the operations uh, inherently completely automatic operation required elaborate elements relay for automatic action breaking capacity very small for the fuse very small for the fuse and uh, uh, very large for the circuit breakers and operating time very small 0 0.002 second and so and in the circuit breaker comparatively large 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 second replacement in the uh, respect of the replacement required replacement after every operation no replacement after operation so friend if you are 
interested to show my video uh, to enhance your technical knowledge or remind your old memories please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical and real life video thank you thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much